Hey, welcome back. This is Brendan taking a look today at Advanced Themer and the AI integration that it offers. There's a bunch of features on here. Make sure to read it and uh, check it out. Um, I'm going to show you one thing today about styling and we're going to jump right in. So make sure that you have Advanced Themer and Bricks enabled and also that you've enabled the AI under General Settings. And then you get this tab here. Make sure that you enter your OpenAI key. And for this, I'm just using the 3.5 Turbo 16K. I had better luck with this one than the regular Turbo. You can use these ones, they'll probably obviously be better. So um, let's make sure to save that. And let's jump into the builder. So I have here, um, there's just two classes on here that we're gonna look at. They're both empty right now. And we have three, a uh, three column grid with heading basic text and a button. And what we're going to do is uh, use the component manager, component class manager, manager from advanced themer, uh, or you can use the class manager here as well. Um, but let's just um, go ahead and right click that to open it. Let's make sure that we're on the test AI class. You can obviously name these whatever you want. And we're going to see if this saves us any time. So let's just do like uh, background color um, secondary. Now you could use raw values here. I'm using core framework um, to add my variables. So let's just do like text of, I don't know, secondary, um, like a light color L9 and Let's add some padding in here. Padding, um, space L, space dash L, sorry. And let's gap everything out. Let's do gap of, gap of space M. And let's also add a border radius of, of uh, radius M also. Let's hit enter. And hopefully this will write all my CSS for me and enter it as variables. And that looks to be pretty good. Let's hit save. Oh, and look at that. We've got our styled boxes just like that. So that is pretty cool. If you are not super strong on CSS or you want to save a little bit of time, it seems like it might save some time with that. And this next one, I think it definitely will save some time. So. We're going to look at the fade entry class here. Again, I'm going to go to the uh, component here, component class manager. We see here our fade entry. Again, it's blank. And let's just see what we can do with like an animation. Let's just uh, see if it will fade in and transform, transform up. And let's see what that does. And right there, it's written some keyframes with some animations. So that's awesome. Let's uh, save that and exit out and save that. And let's open that in a new tab. So let's uh, refresh this. And just like that, we've got our little bit of animation there on a new class, just with some AI and not really any code written. You just have to know some color variables or, yeah, that's pretty much it. So anyway, maybe someone finds that useful. Peace.